Hey y'all. So we got our first eggs here on the homestead. Um, we're super excited about these and I just want to preserve them and save them forever so when we look back, you know, when we get to be old, uh, we can look back at the first two eggs that we've ever, ever gotten here. So we got the darker brown one and then the lighter pink, pinkish spotty leg. Um, like I said, I just want to preserve the whole egg uh, shell whole and then we can put them in some kind of display case. Uh, my grandma used to do this with her eggs and she would use them in arts and crafts. Uh, she was a big quilter, arts and crafts person, so she would always preserve some eggs for the kids to paint on or whatever. So I just remember her doing this and I'm gonna show you the technique that she used to do uh, to preserve her eggshells whole and um, you can use them however you like. So if you like this video, please don't forget to ring the little bell down there, hit the subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So you're gonna take a screw or something with a incredibly sharp, nice pointy tipped end. Take your egg and on the very tips of the egg, we'll just slowly start scratching away the shell. You gotta be super careful not to push too hard or squeeze the egg and bust it. Um, but you'll just start tearing away at the shell. You might be able to use a Dremel tool. Um, I haven't tried. If you're gonna do that, I would get an egg you don't care about and then try it on there. Um, but anyway, you'll just start just scratching away at the outer shell real delicately. And you can see, I'm barely getting any dust off the shell, but you'll slowly start getting into the inside. And I don't want a very big hole, so I'll just slowly work at it. Keep making a circular motion, little holes, what you want. I've tried using a nail once uh, instead of this screw here, but the screws seem to have, especially these ones, they got a, I don't know if you can see, they got a little um, indentation on them, so it kind of helps scratch more than a little nail would. Um, that's kind of why I like using this big screws here. Um, it's quite a process. It takes a little while. You can see right here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm starting to get into the inner side of the egg. There'll be a little membrane. Once I get past the hard shell, that I'll have to bust. Um, but just slowly, I'm just slowly going to start chipping away at this little area here. And I'm inside the egg now, but I don't. I need a bigger hole than that because you have to push air through the egg. So I'll just keep working the edge little by little until I get a big enough hole I can push air through there and push the egg out the other hole that I'll make. Right now I'm just kind of taking the tip of the screw just barely chipping away at the edge of that hole until I get the size I want. Be really careful not to push too hard. Like I said, you will bust the egg. This is the ends of the eggs are where all. I don't know if you know anything about like where um, domes and shapes. The top is where all of it, kind of all the pressure goes. So this is the most stable part of the egg. Than this, the ends are the most stable. still crack it down the edge so just slowly chip away I've got a for this size of egg that's getting like an okay size hole we'll have to see later I don't want too big a hole um, but I'll start working on this end now the other end
should give it a shot and see if we can blow some of it and shake the egg a little bit. And I got a bowl here to catch, catch the yolk. What you'll do is you'll take a straw and you'll place it over that hole that you just made on the top. And then you'll hold the straw in with your fingers. If you want to get crazy with it, you could probably tape it on there. blow through the straw. There you go. So there's the yolk. Like I said, these are the first eggs laid, so our yolks aren't that big. And these eggs, so you got the yolk out. And then if you want to get even more clean, I got a little syringe here, some soapy water over here in this other bowl. Some soapy water over here. You can get a little syringe full of soapy water Inject it into the egg at the end. I'm not going to keep these yolks. You wouldn't want to put your soapy water in your egg yolk, of course, if you're going to eat it. Um, but I'm not keeping these. So just inject it inside the egg. Give it a little shake. Blow it out. Got a washed egg. You can even take your eggshell, wash it off in there. And now I've got a eggshell that's empty of yolk. It's been cleaned out with soap. And I can let it dry and then use it in art projects or displays or, you know, if you're a homesteader that wants to sell, you know, some cute egg displays or something, that might be a cute project. You know, you can make some little nest and sell actual whole egg shells um, in there and make it real cute. I don't know. Just all kinds of different things you could do. So I want to preserve that and I want to preserve this other one here and I'll make a little display box and we'll put it up on the shelf and it'll be there forever. And we'll always be able to look back on the first two eggs that we ever had on the farm. So there you have it. Uh, like I said, got the egg here. Like I said, we can uh, put it in a little display box and put it up on the shelf, and we'll always have those first two eggs that me and Stacy ever got on our homestead. So, like I said, if you like this video, um, I'm gonna try doing some more how tos this year. We've got some cool animals coming up. Uh, just if you like it, just uh, ring the little bell down there, like and subscribe, and I'd appreciate it. Thank you.